Have you ever noticed that some minifigure bodies have a printed dot on their neck while others do not? If so, you may have discovered that LEGO minifigures are actually made from different types of plastic. When you look at these two versions of 2011J from Ninjago, they seem virtually identical. I chose this figure in particular because it was produced both in traditional ABS plastic in the mainline sets and what I will refer to as CMS plastic in the Spinjitsu spinners. The one on the left is made from ABS plastic, while the one on the right is made from CMS plastic. CMS is short for Collectible Minifigure Series. This type of plastic rose to prominence in 2010 with the debut of the Collectible Minifigure Series 1. CMS plastic was also commonly used in promotional minifigures and, of course, the Ninjago spinners. The CMS plastic is slightly cheaper and more flexible than standard ABS, and it is now used in mainline sets as well as collectible minifigures. This plastic is softer and less defined, making them less likely to crack but more likely to deform. I believe this is one of the reasons why CMS plastic was chosen for the spinners. You may be wondering, how can I spot the difference? CMS plastic and printing have more color variation than compared to ABS. Some colors can look pretty off compared to their traditional plastic counterparts. Compare the shadows of each minifigure. The ABS is much crisper and more defined, while the CMS is flatter and more diluted. This makes the overall color of the figure seem slightly off with the CMS. The ABS plastic also has a little bit more weight and a firmer feel to it, but this is a very slight difference that you can't really show on video. The printing is slightly different as well. The color on the ABS is very consistent and in line with the LEGO color palette, especially the dark blue here. With CMS, the printing is a little bit too dark on the legs, but too bright on the torso. The molding process on each articulate body part is slightly different as well, and we can see the results up close. The most obvious here is the torso, with the printed dot on the neck of the ABS minifigure is absent on the CMS. Let's take a look at the arms. You'll have to pop off the arms to get a closer look. You'll notice the little rectangular indention around the armpit of the CMS minifigure, which is absent on the ABS minifigure. Now for the legs. The CMS has a tiny rectangular indention at the top of each leg where the injection molding occurs, while the ABS just has the tiny dot. The same is true for the bottom of the hip piece, but this is much more difficult to spot. There's an obvious trade-off with the cheaper CMS plastic, one which LEGO appears to be aware of. This plastic makes it possible for minifigure bodies to have multicolor molds, like these short-sleeved arms and boots. Heck, even my lab coat uses CMS legs. These patterns would be impossible to produce with standard ABS. Over the years, CMS plastic has gradually improved a bit better with the ABS plastic, but the intrinsic qualities are still the same. In 2019, with the release of the LEGO Movie 2, LEGO began producing traditional plastic in the collectible minifigures line, using collectible plastic only for special multicolor elements. Nowadays, most minifigures you get on your hands-on will only use CMS plastic for these special multicolor molds. My favorite minifigures made from CMS plastic are Max from the LEGO Club magazine and the Nexus Astronaut from the LEGO Universe pre-order, but I'm curious what your favorites are. If you enjoy content like this, please let us know in the comments, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, play well.